Hello, welcome to lesson 21, exercise one. Uh, here we're going to practice our skills with Boolean type of variables, Boolean data types. So here we're going to create a Boolean variable called bool. You really could name it whatever you want, but in this case, we're gonna name it bool. We're gonna assign a value of true to this variable. And then we're going to do something with that. If the Boolean variable is equal to true, then we're gonna output the following to the screen four times using a loop. And this is basically what we're going to output to the screen. And I'm just saying here, make sure to pass the Boolean variable to the print line statement to print the value here true to the screen. In other words, don't just type out the value of the variable is true all in quotes. We want to actually use the print statement to print the value of the, of the variable. And then we're going to have another if block. Uh, if the value of the Boolean is false, output the following to the screen. Again, using a loop. Then we'll change the value of the variable from true to false and rerun the program to see how it works. So... The first thing that we're going to do is uh, here's our class definition that defines our program. Here's the main method. Inside of that, we're going to define a Boolean variable, name it bool. That's what we already talked about. Don't worry about the integer yet. Uh, we're going to set the Boolean equal to true, all right, and which is what we're trying to do. And we said that if it's equal to true, we want to output something four times. Now, we could just uh, put four of these statements one after the other. That would work. But you know, let's try to be efficient about it. Inside of this loop, if Boolean is equal to true, notice we have the double equals, which is a comparison. Um, if it's true, then we evaluate everything between these curly braces. This is a code block here. And now we set up a loop. I is going from one up to four because it's less than or equal to four. And we're incrementing the variable by one each time we go through the loop. Now, what we're trying to do in this loop is only one single statement, which is this one down here. So there's no real need for curly braces around it since it's a single statement. Um, so we've got everything nice and compact. And that's why we initialized, or I should say, declared the variable i up here as an integer, because that's what we're going to use for our loop down here. Um, so when we print it to the screen, it says the value of the variable is, and then the value of whatever the Boolean is, true or false. All right, now if the Boolean happens to be false, then we have another if block. Again, here's the opening curly brace, here's the closing. And if it's false, then we loop again four times and we output the value of the variable is. And then again, the, val the value here would be false if we're inside of this if block. But right now, our Boolean variable is initialized to be true. So let's go ahead and save and run this program and see what happens. The value of the variable is true. So notice a couple of things here. Um, because the value was true, we went to this if block and we executed everything in here, right? That's the first thing to notice that we're doing a comparison true or false. It's the only thing a Boolean variable can actually have as a value. Once we jump into here, we loop four times and notice that the print statement is outputting the true here, not because we typed it in, but because it's just printing the value of the variable, which is true. So a uh, Boolean is just like any other data type. It's just that it can only have two states. It can be either true or false. Um, and there's many occasions when you might use that in a program. Uh, all right, so uh, let's change it here from true, the, the value here, let's change it to false and see if we can get the other code block to execute. We'll save and we'll run it. And now it says the value of the variable is false because now it jumps over this if statement because this if statement is not evaluate to be true. This guy, is the valid statement so we go and print it out down here so that's basically how you do that there are a couple of variations you could probably do depending on your code style it may not look exactly like this but this is a general idea of what we're going for it it, it really lets you practice a lot of things because you're able to practice with the boolean data type you're able to practice with ifs and you're able to practice with fours all in the same example